You who feel like a failure because you have never achieved anything in your life. You think you have wasted your life. You look at your story and say, I can't do anything. I haven't reached anything. Time is passing, I'm getting older, and I haven't accomplished anything. On the other hand, you never accomplish anything precisely because you feel like a failure. In other words, you are in a vicious cycle. You feel like a failure because you haven't reached anything in life and you haven't reached anything in life because you feel like a failure. What is happening to you? Let's go then. There are two sides to what is happening in your life. One of the sides is the spiritual one. Why do you feel like a failure? Why does the person who does not realize things in life feel like a failure? Because humans were not born to be a failure, but to accomplish things. Humans were created to have a purpose, to have success, to serve a purpose, to be useful in this life. The worst thing about people born poor is that they think that they want to have lots of money, to be a millionaire, to never work again. And they think that their dream, their happiness is on sitting on a beach chair in a paradisiacal place under a tree with the blue sky with the seas in front of you and drinking some lemonade. But only those who have been through this know that after 20 minutes it gets boring. It gets boring. Nobody wants to be like this forever. Why do billionaires work? They don't need money because the human being was created to create, to produce, to be useful. Everyone wants to be useful. Everyone wants to know that they serve for a purpose, for a reason, and not just for decoration, just to be a weight on the earth. So your feeling of failure is linked to the purpose for which you were created. God has created you to have success, to be a productive useful person with purpose and you haven't found your purpose yet. The reason for your frustration is that you haven't found this purpose in your life. So the first problem, as I said, there are two sides of it. The first side is this, is the spiritual one. When a person is misaligned with their calling, their spiritual purpose, their reason for being and living in this world, they will always feel like a failure. They will feel like a fish out of water. Fish were not created to be out of water and you were not created to live the way you are living. Maybe you have financial means, you enjoy whatever you want, whatever money can bring you, but you feel like a failure. Maybe you feel like a useless person because you have inherited the money from your parents or you made a lot of money through a business, but now money brings you no joy. In other words, you are out of the purpose that you were born for, that you were created for. You are misaligned with your nature in God, and that's why you feel like a failure. How do you solve this? You solve this by turning to your Creator. When you connect with God, He makes you discover your purpose in this life. Nothing is more exciting, motivating than a person who knows their life's purpose. When you find someone who knows what they are doing here, 
what's their life's purpose, nothing can stop them. For them, there's no holiday, there's no time, there's no night or day, there's no tiredness, there is nothing. Because they know what they came here to do. They have a clear purpose, a life's mission. So they don't need motivation, they don't need somebody to tell them what to do. They would do what they must, whether someone paying or not. Because they have a mission, just like the fish was born to be in the sea, the person was born for that. They learned their purpose. So it's God who reveals that. God is the one who gives the human being this sense of purpose, this reason to live, because they have been created to be like Him too, creators in His image and likeness. This is the first side. And the second side, you feel this way, and how you have to deal with it, let's remember your vicious cycle you are in. You have never accomplished anything in life because you feel like a failure, and you don't achieve anything in life because you feel like a failure. You doubt yourself even before starting. So you need to break this cycle. And how do we break this cycle? Humans, to be motivated, by their potential, their capacity, they need to have small successes. You need to have success in small things. The great problem is, people who feel like a failure, they start to compare their current lives with the ideal lives. And the distance is huge. Let's say you are unemployed, still living with your parents, at your 30s, you haven't achieved anything in life. You have no perspective of dating someone, getting married, becoming independent. You are someone who is vegetating in this life. Then you dream of what? You dream of becoming successful, married, with children, someone who achieves many things, who is respected, so the distance between you today, at the back room, in the house of your parents, and who you aim to be, is huge, so you feel demotivated. The first thing you must do is to tidy up your bed. You must tidy up your bed, fix your drawers, go in your wardrobe and throw away what you don't need that which you don't need anymore, to throw away useless things from your bedroom, from the place you are in control of. You don't control many things, but maybe what you control is out of control. So you need to have small achievements, small victories, even if it is tidying up your drawers. You must do this today. You need to take a shower, cut your hair. You need to decide what you will do next in the day. If you have a meeting, someone to meet up with, or if you have a place to attend, the clothes you will put on, what you will say, what you will decide, you must make a few small decisions to build success upon these small successes of your daily life. That's how you achieve victories. If you look at any athlete or anyone successful in their field of action, whether a singer or a footballer or any other sport, a business person, this person started small, very small, and they built, they started to increase the level of difficulty. In other words, the football player doesn't start playing in the World Cup. They don't say, my dream is to play football and I'll only play football if it is to decide the World Cup. That's not possible. You cannot start playing at the finals in the World Cup. You need to start playing at your backyard. Am I right? 
So you must start looking for the small successes. The Bible says that we should not despise small beginnings, not to despise the small beginnings. So if you have a small beginning, celebrate. Great, you made a sale. What did you sell? I managed to sell something for $10, 10 pounds. I sold a bottle of water. Great, everyone must start with a small success. And together, these small successes. And you will learn that you can gain confidence and see that you can do also. So aligning your spiritual life with God, with your Creator, the one who created you to create, you solve the spiritual side because if it is not solved, it doesn't matter. If you work hard, there will always be something blocking you. But when you solve the spiritual side, then you solve the physical, human side with small successes. Thus, you break this cycle of failure in your life. Try this. I'm sure you will work, but you must do. If you're willing, you will break this cycle. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.